So we're only gonna take a 20 minute bath at bath, not a three hour bath because of... Oh my goodness, Najwa, you almost got knocked the f out. Sirs and madams, Mika ka here. And on today's episode of Splish Splash, I was taking a bath at two famous soap opera stars, Papi Shampoo and Bubbles Macbeth, journey to the town of Bath, England. So make sure you don't drop the soap. Say rubber ducky baby bucky three times fast while patting your head and rubbing your belly. And make bubbles in your bath water. Bye. Gross. And we're off on another adventure. We made it to Bath. So this is a very old city built in Roman ancient empires. And because they don't have pay phones anymore, they turn them into flower boxes. Absolutely. Look at that. Beautiful flower box there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You want to take a picture? So this is what they've done with all the pay phones here in Bath. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to come back to you when we get to the baths because no one cares about shopping. Welcome to Bath, where history bubbles forth from the earth. The Romans soaked in these mineral-rich waters, believing them to have healing properties. Today, a fine museum surrounds the ancient bathing site, inviting visitors to wander past well-documented displays, Roman artifacts, and the actual mouth of the health-giving spring. Oh, we're gonna take a picture of a grandfather clock so that's... this is the guy they used to take... Let me give you a tour. Okay, give me a tour. This is the first one that fought in the water. The what? Fought it. He's the first one to fart in the water? Fart in the water. And and that's how was Bubbles his name English was his name Sir Fartery? No, his name is um, Sir Robert Walpore. Robert. Cousin of mine. This one say, if you do it, I'm going to do it too. And she's like, oh, it's stink. But I love it. I want to shower too. Can I go take a, a bubble bath with you guys? Oh, and then? And then they all happy. Founded by the Romans, Bath was known as Aque Sulis. Its hot mineral springs attracted people seeking healing and relaxation. The Romans constructed a temple and bath complex in honor of Sulis Minerva, a blend of the Celtic goddess of healing water and the Roman goddess of wisdom. Aque Sulis became a significant spa and pilgrimage site in the western part of the Roman Empire. The Great Bath together with the temple and sacred spring, stood as the main attractions in this ancient city. So tell me a little bit about this uh, church. I, you don't know anything about the church? 1800, was, no. It was renovated on 1600, right? Oh yeah. And... You need pressure washing. It, it needs what? Pressure washing. It needs a lot of pressure washing, yeah. I mean, it's pretty dirty. Look at that. Disgusting. That's the way they like it. We'll be able to see the inside of this church here in a second, depending on... Look at this line here. The Bath Abbey. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. Bath Abbey, also known as the Abbey Church of St. Peter and St. Paul, is a parish church of the Church of England and a former Benedictine monastery located in Bath, Somerset, England. There are 635 memorials on the Abbey's walls. Most commemorate people from the 1700s and 1800s. The Abbey floor is made up of 891 flat gravestones called ledger stones. As part of the footprint project, all of the ledger stones have been restored and relayed thanks to the skill of local craftspeople. Through the memorials, we learn about their lives, loves, and belief in the Christian hope of resurrection, life after death. The Norman Arcade Pier Before this abbey was built in the early 1500s, a much larger Norman cathedral stood here. The cathedral was begun in 1090 by the new French Bishop of Bath, John of Tours, and was complete up to the lower vaultings by the time of his death in 1122. This pier was probably built by then. 
The cathedral was probably finished in 1156. A pier is an upright support, in this case an arch which was part of a series of arches known as an arcade. James Montague, an English bishop, left an indelible mark on history. He was the first master of Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge, and later became Bishop of Bath and Wells. His legacy echoes through Bath Abbey, where a tomb with his effigy graces the north side of the nave. His restoration efforts re-roofed the abbey, breathing life into its ancient stone. The Great East Window, completed in 1873 and repaired after World War II, it tells the story of Jesus in 56 scenes. Bird's Chantry Chapel, built by Prior William Byrd as a place for prayers to be chanted for his soul. It continues to be a place of quiet reflection and prayer. The fan vaulted ceiling, created in the 1500s by the King's Master Masons. The stone vaults form beautiful fan shapes draw us up to God. The nave ceiling is a copy made in the 1860s. Sir William Waller's memorial to his first wife, Jane, William Waller fought for Parliament in the English Civil War. After the Battle of Lansdowne in 1643, Waller's troops sheltered in the Abbey. We hope you know God's protection, whatever lies ahead. Oh my goodness, my friends, this video has come to an end. I hope this experience has brought much joy and laughter to your heart and soul. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification so you never miss an update from us. And if you want to stay connected, be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Your support always means the world to us. Hey, why did the robber take a bath? because he wanted to make a clean getaway. All right, I did good. Okay, ding, 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 thank you, come again. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go eat some lunch and so no pastries for us today. <laughs> Goodbye.